tag video for you and this one is really interesting because it's all about lipsticks and lip glosses and I am obsessed with both of those anything lip I am obsessed with I was tagged with fancy that with Candice here on YouTube she is so sweet and awesome and her channel is amazing and I will put a link down below to her channel so you can go and check her out okay so I'm going to start off with my lipsticks and I'm going to go from light to the boldest of the bold the first one I have here is the Maybelline color sensational lipstick in warm me up as you can see this lipstick is like a brownish pinky nude sort of an earthy pink and I absolutely hate lipsticks that wash you out the nude ones I do like wearing nude lipsticks but I tend to go more toward the pinkish side it may look a little dark but it really isn't it just it's sort of like a your lips but better color that's what I like to think it's just a really nice nude lip color that is not gonna wash you out at least on fair skin tones and it goes on very creamy it is very moisturizing it lasts me like a good four hours I would say I think these retail for $8.99 I'm not quite sure I think that's what I paid for it I'm sure you can get it cheaper I don't know but I think they're worth the price it's a very all-around great everyday color so the next one I have is my Revlon lip butter in berry smoothie and this has been talked about a lot on YouTube. I think it's a very very gorgeous shade of berry and it's the second swatch right here. It is a very very hydrating sort of muted pink berry shade and it has some very very subtle golden flecks of shimmer. You can barely tell but I absolutely love the Revlon lip butters. They're very 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 hydrating you know but their lasting power because of that is not that great but I actually don't mind reapplying this just because it goes on so smoothly. It's just an everyday perfect berry shade. It is very wearable for all skin tones and if you don't mind reapplying I just think this is great. And I have another Revlon lip butter and it is in Candy Apple. This is actually sort of a matte sort of a matte cream shade. It doesn't really look matte on the list but it has no shimmer whatsoever and it's sort of orangey. So if you don't like orangey shades then this is not really for you but I like every shade of red. I'm obsessed with red so I think this is perfect. The consistency varies a little bit um, with the lip butters that don't have shimmer and the ones that have shimmer. This is very smoothie and this one is the candy apple. Not sure if you can see it, I hope you can. Since it doesn't have shimmer, it is more creamy. It is still just as hydrating, uh, but I think the ones that don't have shimmer last a little bit longer. Still, since it's very moisturizing, it's not going to last you a long time, but it is a very, very pretty shade. It is very easy to apply, very creamy, and I just think this is a gorgeous color, and it is not too overpowering. It is not too bold. If you like like that stained effect, this is going to be great. And you can build this up to make it look more bright and also share it out to make it look a little bit less dramatic and in your face. So I just love this color. It's a very wearable red. Next I have another red lipstick and this one actually has been around since 1953 which is crazy. This is a very classic shade and it is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Cherries in the Snow. This color is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love this. I saw this in a video from Emmerix on YouTube and I just ran to the drugstore to get it. It is such a gorgeous shade. It is a bright cherry red and it doesn't have any shimmer whatsoever. It is a cream finish. The consistency is very, very, very good. I absolutely love this. It's it goes on very smoothly on the lips. It is crazy pigmented. I just I just swatched that and look at that. It is crazy pigmented. It's a very flattering classic shade. It makes your teeth look whiter, so your smile is gonna really pop. And it's actually one of this was actually one of Marilyn Monroe's favorite lipsticks. So you know it's been on the market for a really long time, and there is a reason why it is a very very great lipstick. It wears around five to six, six hours, which is really really great. So this is one of this is actually my favorite cherry toned lipstick. So there's that. Next I have the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in 918D Cherry Bomb. And this lipstick I've actually used in a couple of my videos. As you can see it is extremely pigmented. It is a dark sort of burgundy plum reddish color. 
it is very very buildable you can share it out and it, you can get a totally different effect and it is a very very vampy vampy color I absolutely love this if you like wearing bold tones in the fall you should really check this lipstick out it is actually it actually retails I think for less than two dollars which is ridiculous you know it's a really really good lipstick the only off-putting thing that I might have is that it is a little drying so you really have to exfoliate your lips well and put some lip balm before actually wearing it uh, but apart from that it lasts a long time the next one I have is actually from Wet n Wild as well and I absolutely love this in the summer and I've still been loving it I think it's just a very bright pretty color it's 521 a fuchsia with a blue pearl and it just looks like this. It is a gorgeous, bright, very bright fuchsia color with a pearlescent purple and blue shimmer. The shimmer you can't barely tell, it's just really pearlescent. It makes it look really sort of like duochrome. It is extremely pigmented, it goes on very creamy and smoothly. It is very, very hydrating and it lasts over four hours. So I just think this is a great, great buy. It actually cost me 99 cents, which is ridiculous, you know. It's really, really great and amazing. And it lasts over four hours and it fades to a stain-like effect. I love lipsticks that do that. It makes your teeth look really nice as well. And I just think it's great for that pop of color if you're into purple fuchsia tones. And this is actually very gorgeous just because it has that sort of a blue purple shimmer to it. I just think that adds a lot of dimension to it and I absolutely love this. Another Wet n Wild lipstick and this one is in 514A. And this one I'm actually wearing today and it just looks like this. As you can see it is a very bright cherry red with a pearlescent gold shimmer to it and you, can, you can't really barely tell but again this is the same formula as the other fuchsia lipstick that I just showed. Very creamy, very moisturizing, lasts over four hours, you know, and it leaves a stain-like effect. I absolutely love, love, love this one just because it sort of gives you that retro look, sort of a pinup look. I've actually been wearing this for two and a half hours now, and it actually looks as vibrant as when I put it on, so love this. The next one is another of the same formula of Wet n Wild. It is 552A and it's actually another red. I'm sorry if you don't favor red colors. I just love red shades and I just had to include these in here. It is a very dark berry red color with pearlescent gold and red shimmer to it, which I'm not sure the camera is picking up. I looked up reviews online as well before buying this and a lot of them just said that this is really just what a great lipstick if you like that 50s pinup look and I absolutely totally agree with that it is a great great shade it actually has a very glossy finish as well and it's the same formulation with all of these the ones that have shimmer if you love those berry shades but are afraid of the red colors you can actually try this and you can wear it sheared out or you can wear it bold it's absolutely amazing and I absolutely love it so the next one I have is the Viva Glam 1 from MAC and this is actually a matte finish and it just looks like this it is totally square because I've used it to death <laughs> it is a dark brownish brick red color it is very bold this is a matte lipstick it has a matte finish it does go on very creamy but it dries to matte and because of that it is very 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 long lasting um, this was actually my first red lipstick, the first red lipstick that I owned and I used it so much, I absolutely love it. It makes your teeth look really nice and it's just a very... I know I know what you're thinking, it's like your first red lipstick and it's just so bold. I did wear it like full on bold and I absolutely loved the way it looked. I just think this is a very classic flattering red shade for those who prefer a more toned down look and not as bright of a red. So now that I'm done with the lipsticks I'm gonna go on with the lip glosses and I actually only have two. Uh, I tend to wear more lipsticks than lip glosses. The first one I have here is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Beige. And as you can see, this is not a beige color. I don't know why they called it beige. It's obviously a pink. But yeah, I'm just going to do a quick swatch for you. And this is a swatch right here. I really hope you can see that. 
This is actually a very soft, neutral pink shade. It's not a beige color at all. It is very flattering and very wearable for all skin tones. It can be a little sticky, but it's not overly sticky. So if you hate, hate uh, sticky lip glosses, this may not be for you. But it's actually more of a lip a lip color than a gloss. I actually like to wear this on its own just because it does have some pigmentation to it which I really love and it absolutely smells amazing. It smells like candy, like strawberry candy. It smells really really nice and it's just an every, a, a very nice everyday muted pink lip. The last lip gloss I have is actually from e.l.f. and it is the Hyper Shine Gloss in Bare. Ignore the little tip. I just be, I love using this on bold lipsticks, so that's why it's a little stained. I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to see that swatch. I really hope you can. It's actually a very glossy nude color with some gold shimmer to it. I absolutely love the e.l.f. Uh, Hyper Shine glosses. They don't last a long time, but you know, what lip gloss does, you know? But I absolutely love this because they're not sticky at all. They smell really nice. It smells like candy. I'm just obsessed with candy smells. This one actually sort of smells chocolatey, I don't know. And I actually prefer to use this lip gloss on top of my bold lipsticks to highlight the center of the lip. I, I've never actually used this on its own. I only use it with my very vampy lip colors and I just think it's a very very nice gloss and it just makes your lips look very luscious and that golden shimmer is absolutely gorgeous for the fall and the upcoming winter time which I'm very excited about, very excited about Christmas, it's actually my favorite season. That would be all for my fall lipstick and lip gloss picks. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like any of these lip colors or have tried them. I want to know your opinion as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful to you and it gave you some ideas of fall lip colors that you can add to your collection. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!